She's a pretty one. She's so cute. And my favorite one is not friendly at all. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I'm I'm a mess. <laughs> my hair is a mess. Everything's a mess. I did the goats this morning. It was crazy town. I feel like I've lived already a month just this morning. This is all the stuff that I washed. Whoops. I think this is Chino's halter and I washed it. Makes me sad. Hi, Penny Pickle. Uh, everybody should get a fly mask and bug spray today. Honestly, I'm not even ready for the day yet. It's just been a wild Sunday morning. I don't even know where our bottles are for the bug spray, but I need one. Here, just one. Oh, that's not one. Oh, annoying. All right, I don't have a bottle. Like we save all of our bottles just so that we can put bug spray in it and I don't not know where any of them are. Our grass grew so high so fast. Like we put the horses out last night in the goat area. We have so many fields for them to eat, which I'm not complaining about, She's but so chill. she is like, so chill. I tried to put her fly mask on, I put it over one ear and it was covering both Aww. of her eyes. She moved her head and just stood there. She's such a she's such a good horse. But anyway, we're gonna let her out with the horses today. First day, she's been here for three days. I'm gonna spray my horse and put her mask on. She has no mask now, fly mask. You lost your fly mask to another horse. All right, let's find another one for you. All right, so I have like this kind that she might like. I have this kind and I don't know. That's Pony. Are you sure it's Pony? Yes. Pony. That's not gonna fit your horse. I'm trying it anyway. What about this one that I just washed? Mine. I know, but you have mine. I'm gonna try this one. I like one with ears though. Oh, I'll put this on below. What if I put blue on her? Poor Penny. <laughs> spray their chest especially. So I'm gonna find a new spray bottle. Tomorrow you guys will have a really good bug spray. One thing I like about this, this uh, fly mask is that it has a little spot for a uh, lead rope. Hold on. <laughs> so our plan, I'm going to tell you guys our plan. It's been a wild day. Anyway, our plan is that we're going to let her out where the horses are all going to go. So last night we uh, put all the go we put the goats to bed early, a little bit early. We let all the horses down in the goat field because the grass is literally this high. I have like a, fi a video where it like Storm just has to put his head like this and he can eat and poor little honey, it's like at her neck. She hates drama so she's walking away. Yeah, so they're in here together but they're not together. Don't let Penny. Okay, well Penny's going to be the second one that comes through. Do you want me to go hold her? I'll just try so if you don't die, don't die. Storm knows not to kill me, or else his owner's gonna be mad. Let's go. Everyone All right. Well. Penny's by herself for once, and she's having the time of her life. She is having her time of her life. I put them when we put them in the in the grass last night. She was like, finally, I'm away from everybody. She's an introvert. She hates being around other horses and that's okay. I know this is normal and they're doing, they're being amazing and um, they're all doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's just not my cup of tea. I just, I don't like to see my horses running like crazy. I don't like them to be stressed out. I don't like her to be stressed out, but I know she's just as stressed out without any friends and it has to happen. I just don't like anybody to be unhappy and she's unhappy because she, there's five of them against her. Watch yourself, Sam. I'm trying to bite every horse now. Storm's like getting all riled up trying to bite every horse now. He is. Honey's over there with her. Okay, Sophie, I don't think that is a pony mini. It doesn't fit her. Sophie just wants all her ponies to have pink. Everything seems pretty quiet out here. Everybody, I think we got it. Good, all along I've always, I've always wanted to separate Storm into his own little herd of people, of horses that he, 
he likes because he is always wanting to push the horses around and Penny hates that. She just wants to relax and be doing her own thing. Them being separated today has been amazing. She's been with the new horse and just loving life. I came to check on her and she's literally hiding in the barn, standing up against the wall, just hiding. That breaks my heart. So Sam threw a bunch of hay outside in the field. She won't go out there to get it. So I threw hay inside for her and she, she's happy. That's so sad though. She's just standing at the wall, watching the horses outside. You wouldn't believe where I found her. By herself, standing up against the wall in the arena, just staring out at them. Gabby and Sylvia are headed out. Now that Gabby has her license, though, she's still really good. They just go like specific places and do, they just go out when they want to go out. But she's not one of those kids that's gone all the time. I love that. So Sam is cleaning up this area now. I'm so excited. I want to get in there and cut all that junk down. Oh, I love it. I was going to send you a picture of what I already had. But yeah, that's cool. So that's our new water bucket. This is all the wood that Sam's going to use to make the chicken coop. I'm just sitting in the shade, watching Sam build me stuff. It's need a good lid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we need a lid. Otherwise, they'll be pooping in it. Chickens are all enjoying the shade. Sylvia and I are trying to shoot the video that she wants to do to announce her horse to you guys. And I love that she has like this big plan and how she wants to do it. Like she's, she's, I love that. But we're also introducing the horses together today. And so everybody's like a bit stressed out, even though you wouldn't know it right now because they're all calm. So I don't know, like hopefully it happens soon. Hopefully we can do it soon. We're going to try and take her for a little walk today down. Sylvia wants to ride her. Sylvia wants to ride her so badly, but we decided, wow, that's a big huge hawk huge hawk just flew over our house anyway Sylvia wants to ride her but she, we agreed that we wouldn't ride her right away like we want her to settle in like she already has ran and ran and ran this morning being interested in being introduced to the other horses so we don't want to like we want her to settle in we want her to settle into her horse family we want her to like find a place in her herd and and like start to be a little bit happy before we walk before we try and ride her. I always worry it'll be too much because she's in fight mode right now. She's like in trying to get along mode and if we take her out on a trail it could just make her act in a way that she doesn't normally act and I don't want Sophie to get scared. She was running and like running and she's like powerful like she like Storm doesn't run like that. Chino never ran like that. Chino almost ran like that, but he never was fast like that. And she was running and so powerful. And I said, wow, like she is so powerful. And Sophie said, yeah, and I get to ride her. And the crazy thing is, is even though like she's this strong, healthy, fast moving horse that can run and powerful horse, she's got power. She's so simple that a beginner can ride her, a little child can ride her. She's so safe so safe and so like reliable and I don't know she's just such a nice nice horse and Sophie has cantered her and cantered her and cantered her and and just loves her like loves everything about the way that she moves she says that she's the smoothest horse she's ever ridden that she she keeps saying mom you're gonna love her you're gonna love to ride her because she's like riding a couch she just goes along and you just sit there but there's no fear Sophie has no fear right now and I don't want to create a situation where we do too much too fast and then Sophie gets scared. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're going slow. We might take her for a walk today just so that she can get out and move. Right now she feels like she's stuck in a barn. She's scared of the horses or she doesn't want to fight. She's like Penny. She doesn't want any drama. She just wants to be by herself and do her own thing. But all this thing, all but bringing her here and like introducing her to the herd um, helped us realize like helped us make the change and move storm like we put storm into another field it was instant peace in our herd instant peace the mini willow and penny who just want peace feel peaceful they're just penny is the calmest she's been since we moved here since she's been in a field with storm the calmest she's been like she's just so happy works good actually it works good buy more now and then all right that's awesome make a whole different bunch of them. yeah we'll make a bunch those are easier to use did you find a lid I have one lid, but it has a hole in the top. 
There's Piggy. <laughs> She's still so little. Like, I thought she would grow so much faster. Look at it's you, the pig. <laughs> She's like, come I'm get me. Pig, actually. What? I'm a golden pig. I actually have so much work to do, you guys. So much. I still am cleaning out our tack trunk. And back here in our storage area, <laughs> we have a bucket, a couple of buckets of horse stuff that I want to go shopping in for the new horse. So here's one bucket. I even have these buckets, the ones with the little nipples on the bottom that I can hang up. And another one. All right, so I'm gonna look through here and try and find some bridles. Actually, I don't even think this is... Oh, there's a part of a bridle. Here's the hat that matches the fly mask that Penny's wearing today. Okay, tell me the truth. Do you guys think that is unreasonable to ask Gabby to let Sophie use Chino's bridle. Or Storm has two. He has like a show bridle and a regular bridle. Both really nice bridles. Do you think it's unreasonable? Because she doesn't really do a lot with the horses right now. Let's ask her. Hi. Can you put your saddle off that? Okay. Gabby, I have a question for you. Do you have any suggestions for a halter or a bridle for that horse? Like, do you think she could use, does the Storm have two? Wait, I don't have to the right bit. Do you have a bridle she can use though? What do you suggest? I know Storm has two. He has his good one and then he has his other one that was a good one. Oh, perfect. Let's see it. And it has another French link on it. Okay, it's got a French link. Same exact bit as Storm. All right, so is that not the one, that's not, that's the one we sent him to the school with, right? I think so. Yeah. It's got a blue brow band. I have a pink diamond one. I gotta find it. So I found another bridle. This is just like a extra one that we used in the rain. And then it has like the bitless option on it that you can get. I love that thing. But I found the brow band that Sophie can use. Also, I found my boots that I bought for Penny that she hated, so I never used them. I used them one time, and I'm gonna give those to Sophie. To be honest, I don't know if these are gonna fit her. <laughs> Sophie and I were just talking about how, like, it's only her feet that are massive. She's got a big butt. She's got nice bone structure, but she's not super big. Like, she's not, like, super, super big. She's bigger than Storm. She's bigger than Chino, bigger bodied, but she's not, like... She's not taller than Chino. She's not taller than Chino. Actually, Chino! Really high. She don't have like a dipped back more than her. Yeah, she's yeah. got nice, she's nice, she's nice. But anyways, she, um, so she's not like, she's not fat at all. And she's not, she won't get fat. She doesn't overeat. She, she's just not that kind of a horse. Like Pit Penny will probably get to a point in her life where she'll overeat, but yeah, this horse Chino won't. Yeah, Chino never overeat either. Yeah, Chino doesn't overeat, didn't overeat. It and doesn't overeat. Chino didn't overeat and Storm doesn't Which overeat. he needed to eat. But that was before he got sick. Yeah. He still didn't know. It's like, dude. But it's only her feet that are huge. Like, her feet are huge. They all stick together. So these are our little chickens. They're our Jersey Giant chickens. These are our turkeys. The ducks are out of the time of their life. And the ducks are the cutest. I love them. So we have three turkeys. The chickens are friendly. I think, oops, I think I can sex the turkeys now. So this one definitely looks like a girl. Let me see, hold it up. It looks like a girl. This is a boy. Running back and forth. Yeah, we're cleaning out their little pen here and they're just Hi. loving this. But then we have all the guineas. I'm still cleaning out the thing. We're afraid to put the guineas out in the grass because they're so tiny and they're so fast. But look at that little white one. I think it's a pied guinea or something. It'll be white and it's, well, it's like a mix. It's, it won't be pure white because it's got brown on it. Okay. But so cute. Daffodil. They're Daffodil. so fast. That, this one, this one is marshmallow and that one's s'mores. Yeah, that one's a boy. I think that one's a boy for sure. He is, but it's fine. Toad can share. And uh, just like that, they're nice and clean again. 
It's so cute, Sam. It's oh, so look at cute. You. You're such a cutie. I know, it's so cute. Look at this one, Zoe. So we hated the guineas I love that one. because we got one that was really mean. But I think that that was the one that we got that was wild, just living in his neighborhood. And I think that's how he got so mean. Um, because the rest of the guineas were fine. And these little baby guineas are so cute. So we're going to raise these five up and we're going to see what happens next year. And let like they'll stay in for the for this year. And then we'll put them out next next spring and see what happens. There's a duck on my butt though. <laughs> That one's looking, there was a bee. Move the green bag. There's a duck behind it. Oh, there's lots of ducks behind it. Oh, under it, too. Yeah, they wanted the, they wanted the heat. They didn't want the tall. Anyway, we brought them outside so that we could clean out their thing and let them have a little run on the ground. That's daffodil. my turkey. I'm so excited. Look at daffodil. All right, well, I'm going to end today's video because Sophie and I have to take this back in and they're going to the grocery store. Don't you know that?